Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik, holding it down once again for PinnacleStudioPro.com. I got to give some love back to my peeps. I got to give you the love that you deserve. So I'm going to show you how to change the pitch of your voice to use in your videos. Let's get into it. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 18 Ultimate. First thing you need to do is bring your video clip down into the timeline and then select the piece of the video that you want to change the pitch. Now, I've already done that. I only want to change the pitch to this one little clip in this video. And after I'm done doing what I need to do, I'm going to bring it back in with the rest of the videos. So, let me just give you a taste of what this clip's all about. Mary had a little phone, its skin was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, her earbuds were in tow. And Mary couldn't hear her mom, so she would pitch a fit. But Mary was contrary, y'all, so she just hit the bricks. All right, so y'all hear what it sounds like right now. We're going to change this up, baby. The pitch cannot be changed within Pinnacle Studio. I actually have to take it to another free program called Audacity to go ahead and change the pitch. Now, since Audacity is free, that's more love for you. You don't got to pay a red cent to get this done. But it does have to be done partially outside of Pinnacle Studio. First thing you want to do is right click on your clip after you have selected the piece and trimmed it down to where exactly you want it. Okay, it has to be exactly the way you want it. If it is not exactly the way you want it, get it there before you do this piece. All right. So now I'm going to detach the audio and I'm going to left click on the video, which is on top of the audio. Then I'm going to right click on it. And go to delete and now all I have on my timeline is the audio so now I'm going to go to export and I need to export this audio file all by itself so that audacity can easily recognize it and do what it needs to do so I'm gonna leave this on file as my export type I'm go down to settings and I'm going to change this to audio. And I'm going to leave it as a WAV file. And I'm going to select the location where I want it to go. And I'm going to click on Start Export. And now it's done. So I can close this. And now I'm going to bring up Audacity, which I already had open. I'm going to go to File, Import. audio I'm going to go to the location where I saved the file and I'm going to click open and it's going to ask me if I want to make a copy of the file which is safer if I want to use it directly from the original you pick which one you want I'm just going to do it directly from the original You see I have the file here. Now I can play the file. Mary had a little phone. Its skin was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went. And you can see that the pitch is the same right now. So Mary now I need had to hit a little stop. Phone. I need to hit stop at this point. If I hit pause then the next piece won't work because all of your effects will be grayed out. So if you want just a specific piece of this to be, to change the pitch, then you need to select 
the piece of it that you need to change the pitch. I'm going to go ahead and change the pitch for all of it by left clicking and selecting all of this. Then going to effect and clicking on change pitch. Now I like to use the slider for the percentage and I usually want to go like to 30 or 35 percent. Now it tells you what pitch is changing it to as far as like from notes from from A to D. Uh, gives you the semitones, the frequency. If you know how to read all of that stuff, good for you. I use percentage. So by going to a negative 35, what's going to happen is it's going to be deeper. So if I hit preview. Mary had a little foam. His skin was white as snow. And everywhere. Now we know that it's going to be deep. Now if I go to the positive side. Say I go to 35%. Didn't mean to hit OK, but I did. But if I hit play now. Mary had a little phone. Its skin was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, her earbuds were in tow. And Mary couldn't hear her mom, so she was. So basically, I just changed the pitch. So now all I need to do is go to File. And Export. Audio or export selected audio since I just have this selected, but I'm just going to do export audio because remember in Pinnacle Studio, I made sure that I cut it to exactly where I wanted it. So I'm going to do export audio. Click save and it's going to ask me if I want to add metadata. I'm okay with that. I'm just going to click OK. And as you can see from Pinnacle Studio, it's already done. So now I want to bring my video back into play. So I'm just going to hit my undo button and it'll bring the video that matched that audio right back on. So now I'm going to go to open a new tab. I'm going to go to audio where it's saved. So now I'm going to bring this file down. We see that Mary had a little ham hot. Mary had a little lamb. High pitches here. And the reason why it doesn't exactly match right now is because I did not have this all the way to the beginning, so all of this is really dead air. And then it should actually match up to right here. And looking at it, it looks like all of the audio matches up. So I'm just going to go ahead and step forward here, split this beginning part off. And then I will delete this. And play it back to see how it sounds and looks. Mary had a little phone. Its skin was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, her earbuds were in tow. And Mary couldn't hear her mom, so she would pitch a fit. But Mary was contrary, y'all, so she just hit the bricks. And that's it, people. Your pitch is fixed. All right. Now that I showed you how to change the pitch of your voice in your videos, do me a favor. All right. Click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. All right. If you have any questions, you just want to comment, you want to show me love, leave me in the comments below. I love to help my Pinnacle Studio peeps out. And of course, if you like this content and you want to see it on a regular basis, you got to hit the subscribe button. All right. You want to see a video from me every other week? The subscribe button is what you need to hit so you stay on point. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.